Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for this week's video, I am doing a recreation of Lily Collins makeup at the Met Gala. I absolutely love, 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 love looking at everybody's dresses and makeup looks and one of like her makeup was one of those that stood out to me the very, very most because she had on white and then she had on emeralds and she said, I'm gonna have a lavender eye and I loved it and it was so beautiful and I'm so happy that I got to recreate it and I hope that you enjoy this video. I do soon maybe wanna recreate some more looks because there was so many good makeup looks this year that I may recreate another one, but this is one of my favorites. And I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Before you leave, be sure to like and subscribe and go ahead and ring the bell so that you can get a notification of every new video that I post. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, I have you all zoomed in and I'm done with my base and my eyebrows. So we're gonna go straight into the eyes. So I'm gonna have a picture of whenever I wanna refer to her makeup. I'll just put it up on the corner of the screen because it's just easier than me showing you. So today I'm gonna go in with the NYX Brights Shadow Palette because there is this lavender shade right there that I feel like is going to be perfect for this, but this NYX palette isn't the most pigmented, so what we're gonna start off by doing is I'm gonna go in with the uh, ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and I'm gonna pack this on my lid so I have a wet base to put this shadow onto so it gives me the most pigment because this is the only shadow that like she had on her eyes. So I just want it to have the most pigment since it's the only one. Okay, perfect. I'm not gonna set that because again, I wanna have a wet base for that eyeshadow. So now I'm gonna go into this Japanese 712 brush and I'm going to just pat my brush into this and start packing this all over my lid. Okay, now that we have a solid base to work off of, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in with the Essence Eye Blender brush, it's just a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna take some more of that lavender to blend the lavender out. And I'm gonna take this pretty far up and as close as, as close to the eyebrow as possible because in the picture, if you see, all you see is purple. And I feel like you get the most amount of the purple up above the lid because she's got like the thick eyeliner and the really dramatic lashes. So you really just wanna make sure that you can you can see the lavender up underneath the eyebrow. I feel like we pretty much have that, you know, that lavender basis down. I kind of just want to like go in and pack a little more just all over the eye using the, bluff, the fluffy brush instead of the packing brush just so I can get a, a real nice and blended out um, base. Oh, I like this. I think I should just, it's a casual look. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. So now um, we are going to go in with eyeliner. The eyeliner that she's got, she's got some really, 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 really long and dramatic wings. So we're gonna go for it. I am going to be using the Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner, but I'm also gonna be using the Maybelline 
Eye Studio Gel Liner. So I'm gonna just use this to uh, make the wing and then I'm gonna use this to fill, ooh, fill it in. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and start off by, we're gonna just make the first initial line. And hers are pretty, you know, they're, they're kind of really winged out. So you wanna make sure that it's connected from the line here. That way you can connect the top eyeliner to the bottom eyeliner and really give that, um, that look that she's got going on. Okay, I connected the wing on both eyes and I filled it in. And now before we move on to um, winging out the liner in the inner corner, Okay, now that I've connected the wing liner, what I want to do now is we're going to move in and we're going to start doing the um, the little wing in the inner corner. And for that, I'm going to use the same eyeliner, and I'm, but I'm going to be dipping it. Oops. I'm going to be dipping that into the gel liner. And um, for this, I'm going to slightly squint my eyes and almost tilt my head just a little bit back because I want to make sure that the line is connected to my top eyeliner. You don't want to just do it looking straight on because then what's going to happen is when you close your eye, you're going to look like a fool. Trust me, I've done it in the past. <laughs> so I'm going to just dip it into the gel liner and we will get started. The good thing about hers is that it's not connected from the top to the bottom. It's just one line connected to the top eyeliner, if that makes any sense. Like if you look at the picture, it's just a line and it's not then further connected to connect with the eyeliner that she has at the bottom. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna be really simple. We're just gonna slightly squint, place and drag. Okay. So hers does come down at an angle, but I wanna make sure that it's not too far angled down, if that makes sense. I'm gonna pull my inner corner and I'm going to connect that, make sure that it's as connected as possible. Her line is a little less curved and it's just more straight. But nothing that a little concealer can't fix. Look, this is trial and error. I'm not even gonna edit this out. <laughs> because this is real, real life. So I'm gonna just take an angled brush with some concealer on it and I'm gonna try to do, uh, cut that, like the angle out a little less. Cause when I close it, it's too far angled. You know what I mean? You might even just start it again. Yeah. Let's plug some concealer, some <laughs> English. Let's just throw some concealer on there. And now we're gonna start over. <laughs> okay, so I don't want it to be, I want it to be more uh, into the nose than down. So I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna kind of start the line out here. And now I'm gonna connect it. So right here, and now connect it up here. I legitimately thought that I was filming this whole time and that's why I did my inner corner eyeliner. Um, pretty much uh, I just connected a line from the top eyeliner, my eyeliner here, I connected it and I just squinted and drew a line straight out because that's what hers are. Hers are just lines straight out rather than uh, like a triangle that's connected to her bottom eyeliner so for that i used my liner and i just dipped it into the gel liner and i'm gonna do the same exact thing for the bottom and now she doesn't bring it all the way back in she kind of leaves it i want to say like halfway or three quarters of the way in the same thing from this side.
Okay, now that we have that bottom eyeliner on, all that we have really have to add is the mascara and the lashes. So for the lashes, I'm gonna go in with some really, really dramatic lashes. And it's these lashes that I got on Amazon. And uh, I ordered something and they came with them. I don't even, I don't know. But they're pretty conveniently, they're gonna be conveniently used for today because they're pretty dang dramatic. Um, I would say that if you don't have any lashes like this, you could maybe even, and like you wanted to recreate this look as well, you could maybe even stack um, some really, really like crazy lashes, which is possibly what I'm gonna do. This is why you don't trust Amazon. Look at this. Oh wait, okay, look, it's gonna happen on this side. Chunks of it just came out. We love that, that's all right. It's a good thing I've got an abundant amount of dramatic lashes, but I have to go and grab them. So, um, any dramatic lash will do, and I'm gonna really, really go heavy on the uh, mascara on my bottom lashes because she has gone really, really heavy with her lashes, um, her mascara as well. So once I add that, I will be right back and then we'll put on the finishing touches. Okay, we have the lashes and the mascara on and I'm feeling pretty dramatic with these lashes. <laughs> I've never stacked this many. I've stacked like full lashes and half lashes or I've customized lashes, but I've never stacked like two full strips of lashes and my eyes feel so heavy, but you know what? It's a look. Okay, so this I think is my favorite part of the entire look is just how I loved how she had just like perfectly placed little so-called moles on her face. That was so cute. And I was like, yes, you better work it. It was cute. I liked it. I enjoyed it. And I'm excited to do it. I'm going to recreate that using a bobby pin. So I just got a big bobby pin and I've opened it just like that. I don't know if you can see that. And now I'm just going to take the thinner side and I'm going to dip it into the gel liner. And on my face we go. She's got three and... She's got one just about right there. I think that one looks good, right? Or do we need to make it a little more noticeable? There we go. She's got another one over here. So actually I'm gonna use this time to cover a little blemish. Just like that. And then she's got another one like around here. Also covering up a blemish, I am. I want to make that one a little smaller, so I'm just going to take my beauty blender and go over it. Not smaller, but like less harsh. Just that one. Do the same thing on this one, actually. And that one I want to keep like that. They don't look as cute on me as they did on her, but it's also because she's like super pale. I feel like hers were tinier, too. It's just fine. Fine, it's fine. Okay, now that we have the little blemishes that she had on her face, the last thing is lips, pretty much. And I feel like she almost had, you know that look when you go over your lips with foundation and then you don't take it off until you're done with your makeup? That's kind of the look I feel like she had. So what I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna just take some, a little bit of foundation onto the back of my hand. The back of my hand looks crazy. That's just eyeliner. Like that, and then I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and smash it into my hand and then smash it over my lips. And now, I think she had just like the lightest, lightest pink on, on like the very scent, like, the inside of her lips it was almost like an ombre and I don't have like a baby pink like that but what I do have is this shade and it's called nude cream and it's a Milani lipstick I'm gonna dab that on the inside of my lips and then just dab it out with my finger like that I'm gonna go back with my beauty blender that has foundation on it Okay, 
okay and then she did have a little bit of a gloss so i'm just going to go in with a gloss in the middle of my lips the same way that i did with the lipstick this is the color pop lipstick in the color moon child And that is it for this week's video. I thought this week's video was so fun. I love looking at all the different Met Gala makeup looks and all of the dresses. There's so many other looks that I would love to recreate, like the Lady Gaga one, but I just don't, I need to like find specific materials on hand for that. And I need to custom make some lashes, but I thought the gala was yesterday. I wanna try to get, you know, this look in as soon as possible. But for the Lady Gaga one, I do have to prepare a little more and I might even do it later in the future because it was stunning. But so was Lily Collins' makeup look and I'm so glad that I got to recreate it. And I hope that you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all next week. Oh, and be sure to like and subscribe and ring the bell so that you can get a notification of every new video that I post. Bye everybody. Thank you.